What's going on everyone? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic coming back to you from sunny Southern California at the Auto Club Speedway. Today is Friday, February 25th, 2022. I found the uh, underground tunnels of uh, turn four here that go in there. This is also where you can walk in and out of this last gate right there. Uh, today, again, there are no races here on Friday, but there are some infield activities and things I want to look at. They're, they're setting up a stage for a concert later tonight. And uh, it's, the, it's the last calm before the storm. We got the Saturday Xfinity race and of course the big Sunday Cup Series race. I, I am loving it here. These people are awesome. We're gonna look at some of the setups later. Just wanna get my bearing scraper outside for the pit area and the fan zone. Thanks for joining me guys. We'll be uploading this video from sunny California with some Nomad Internet link below in the video description. On the other side of this fence over here, they're getting ready to do some midget races. I think they're going to do a race. Pretty cool. That looks like fun. Let's go uh, back into the track and check out the process, progress on uh, building that stage for the concerts tonight. The only thing I'll say that's a little strange compared to what I'm used to at Daytona is that the activities for the weekend, nothing happens until Saturday. Nothing. Thursday and Friday are otherwise very quiet, except for the camping areas, which we are going to definitely experience in this video here tonight, Friday night. But we got the, the pit area here, which I have a pass for. You can check in tomorrow. Again, nothing happening on Friday. There's no practice laps. There's no qualifying. There's no nothing until tomorrow. So before the Xfinity race tomorrow, they're going to be doing the qualifying for the Sunday's Cup Series race. Until then, it's just kind of quiet out here. There's the walkthrough tunnel to the fan zone. And they're setting up a little stage over there, main stage, just for the infield tonight. There's a couple concerts that are going to happen later, I think when it gets dark. So we'll head back over here after that as well. Uh, right now, I want to find some food and I want to go look through here because I've heard that if you walk through the RVs you can find people selling food and stuff that's what I want to do just I got my bearing straight now let's go have some fun right yeah. as I mentioned prior uh, the bike game is very strong here at the track not only is it encouraged uh, but it's absolutely a necessity apparently to have some sort of a, a bike and uh, some people put a lot of effort on there's a guy over there that puts the lights on the wheels for you look, look at this bike looks like a, like, a, like a chopper so um there's a tent here where they apparently work on bikes or something anyways people take their bicycles very very seriously here in california where they're not even allowed in florida it's, it's really strange the contrast but it's neat it definitely separates this track from other tracks right you got the right idea there i like that that's awesome guys it's like every campsite has 20 bikes we'll uh, walk back and check in on those kitties in just a minute look they brought couches and their own bar talk for playing cards look at these setups guys that's awesome yeah race car fans are awesome hey look there's that super c that we were looking at when we first checked in that's a nice rig and then lots and lots of bicycles. It's like they have a set up like a tiki bar type thing there. That's pretty cool. Uh, bean bag toss all over the place. So I was heading back to the RV and uh, I got stopped here in the infield. Um, I've actually got some viewers here, Jamie and Kevin. This is their rig right there. Look, they even gave me a, a, a Bud Light and uh, told me exactly where to go for the hauler parade. And Kevin's gonna let me use a bike. He's got a spare bike. So now I don't have to walk around all weekend. I really appreciate it, bud. Right on, buddy. Race fans are awesome, guys. Oh, this is so much better than walking. Yeah, it's got a beer holder up front. <laughs> Good people. I like race fans a lot. Whoa, guys, look at this old GMC Palm Beach. That green. Oh my gosh. It, everything is just themed green. That is a beautiful rig. A couple drivers up in the seat there. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Green shag. Wow. Tara Bear, you taking care of your little brusher? Yeah, you guys having a good race weekend so far? 
You haven't really heard what it's going to be like, though, because we haven't heard any cars on the track yet still. Not till tomorrow. Okay? You take care of your brother. Opie, you need anything? You need me to put some colder water in your bowl? Some colder water? I did actually make a change late last night. I moved over one site. Uh, these neighbors, a lot of them are ex-cops. They're really cool people. Uh, since I already met them, um, these neighbors pulled in, are, know each other, and they were going to be on both sides of me. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'll put all my slides in and move over. So I, I let them have their two sites next to each other, and I'm one site over here instead. So uh, that's how we're doing that. Nice day, guys. Let's go take that bike and a fresh cold beer back up to the uh, front stretch there and see if we can see the haulers. Holy cow, I think I'm in the right place. I've never seen so many bicycles in one place, guys. Holy cow. So the uh, front stretch goes up there. I think they kind of felt bad for not really giving us many activities in the infield for Friday, so that's why they're going to do this. We'll have all the, the team trucks. Like, remember Harvick when we first rolled in and he cut me off and ran that red light? <laughs> Yeah, his truck may come by. It's kind of like an exclusive to infield campers to be able to see the welcome of all the trucks coming in. They'll be coming in over here on the turn four tunnel, rolling through here. Hopefully we'll be able to see Harvick come through and get set up so he can win that race this Sunday. They just canceled it. Okay, I was wondering why it was running an hour late and then go back to the RV. That's okay because we already saw Harvick's truck when he really pulled in and cut me off. Here's the uh, schedule for the infield there. So they've got this spot basically right in the middle with uh, food and concessions and ice cream and subs and uh, tacos and stuff. And I got the uh, chicken strips and fries basket there. All right, well, a one hour and 12 minute delay and the uh, team trucks are now just coming in. We got Tyler Reddick there and they're a little slow going. But they're making their way in. It's supposed to be a parade, uh, but they're just kind of stopped along the front stretch there. But ironically, I accidentally found the uh, Fox Sports Network uh, stage there. That's where they're going to be doing all of their uh, broadcasts from for the Saturday and Sunday race right there. So it looks like they're setting it up so their backs will be towards the grandstands there. So I won't be able to come back to the fence and... Hey! I got some uh, viewers that stopped by to see the kitties, and although Tara didn't, Tara wasn't up for it, Opie is warming right up to being outside here at the race. What do you think, Opie? You're at the race, dude. Heck yeah. It's one cool kitty. I can get some tummy. I can get some tummy. Yes, I can. He's such a good race kitty. Yes, he is. Is this how you do race day? Just lazy? Just be really, really lazy? Yeah, that's a good plan. That's pretty good. All right, kitty, you gonna watch? What do you think? What are they playing? What do you call this? Washers. Okay. All right, Opie, your bad luck. Good try, though. Good try. <laughs> I tried to take her out first, and she wanted nothing to do with it right now. I love you, Tara. You can just stay inside if you need to. It's okay. I'm not going to force it. Not here. Opie, I want you to wear the harness for a little bit longer, for a couple more hours, okay? I need you to be really comfortable with it, okay? All right, that's what gets you outside and has funs and meets peoples. He's a good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric, I like your style, dude. Pick it, pick it. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Wow. I switched it out. Oh. Oh, God, throw that one. That's cool. Sink it.
down. Interesting West Coast version of uh, beanbag toss, cornhole, different. <laughs> These guys have been coming here for 10 years and they are famous here in the infield. They are broken hearted that, that, that this track is gonna be torn up on Monday because this doesn't exist anymore. But this is the uh, tequila place over here. And uh, they hand out tequila to everybody. And look at all these pictures here. Look at all that. This is already this year, February 28th, March, 2020. Look at this wall. Look at all these famous people over the years. 10 years of photographs. There's so much history here. And this is the last weekend ever that the infield will be here for the Auto Club Speedway. Look at that, Jose Cuervo. That's the way to go. <laughs> so I'm donating my uh, solar to play music. We're kind of rotating through different people playing music out here. <laughs> so it's my turn to be DJ. And uh, here at the campsite, I'm getting ready tonight. We're gonna be heading over to the stage pretty soon, but hopefully later tonight, I'll be able to get some people. There's gotta be some people who wanna play Guitar Hero, Rock Band. I got the setup right here. I've actually got uh, four guitars. I got the drums ready to go, the speaker, the projector, and we are ready to rock and roll tonight. Need a break. Sometimes the uh, only quiet place is on the roof of my RV. <laughs> okay, quieter. It's filling up here, guys. This is insane. Race fans are the coolest people ever. I wish NASCAR would. I wish NASCAR would respect the uh, RV community a little more. The fact that all this will be gone forever here in California. It's really sad. This is so cool. But whatever, I'm making lifetime memories and uh, meeting new friends. And uh, this can never be reproduced. And maybe in a way that makes us even better, you know? Yeah? I have decided to take my uh, loner bike on the track because that is also something that's very unique to the Auto Club Speedway, taking your bicycle on the uh, track over here. So I'll put the uh, GoPro chest mount on and uh, we'll go ride around the famous stretch here in California, okay? All right. All right, let's head up to the uh, front entrance and uh, go check this out. Here we go. By the time we get back, it'll be time for the uh, concert or set up my uh, Guitar Hero stuff. Love the recliner. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. All right, they just opened the gates and we're going to hurl through here. All right, here we go, guys. Everybody's got lights on their wheels. Oh my gosh, this is freaking cool. Let's go straight out here to the back stretch. Oh my gosh, we are riding on the back stretch. Look at these freaking palm trees. Oh, that's cool. This is freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm gonna make another loop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna savor the moment here. Oh, that's great. How many wrecks are gonna be into that wall right there? Oh man. I mean, I hope nobody gets hurt, but you know. Oh geez, this is cool. It's awesome. We are up close and personal, guys. My gosh, I've always seen these on TVs where the cars crash into them, and then these absorb styrofoam. It's literally just styrofoam. Oh, that's weird. That changes everything. I thought it was like tire rubber or something. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Look at this. 
There are so many bicycles out here. I love it. Oh my gosh. What a nice night too. Oh, that's great. We are just blessed with the uh, sunset off in the distance. It's not gonna show up on the GoPro obviously, but holy cow. Holy cow, this is beautiful. And there are no night races here. So we won't be able to see any any uh, cars out here at night like this. So they are only letting us ride the back stretch. We do not get to go into turn three. They are uh, cutting us off here. But still, it's pretty awesome. Let's zoom back around here. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh my gosh, what a great night. There's the uh, chug bus there. The chug bus. <laughs> yeah. And again, NASCAR, you are going to start tearing all this up and take it away from the viewers, the NASCAR fans, the diehard RVers. Please reconsider. Please reconsider. I'll come back. I'll come back every year to California just for this. Serious, serious. All right, let's put it in turbo. Head back to the RV here real quick. Oh, those lights are bright. Holy cow, those lights are bright. We're gonna make a pass, we're gonna make a pass. Here we go. Holy cow, holy cow. Oh, that's awesome. So awesome. First song, first time. Once we got Guitar Hero going and people actually saw us playing and heard us playing, we were lined up. That was a lot of fun. I'm totally glad. No regrets. The infield is awesome. It's, it's starting to hit people here that this is the potentially last time that this will ever take place here at this speedway as far as the infield. Uh, but I'm having a blast. I'm going to cut back in. I'm going to cut this video off now because I'm going to go do the uh, Saturday morning activities. We've got the Xfinity race and I'm going to shoot a video out tomorrow night, Saturday night, the uh, 26th. Yeah. So be well, guys. Tara and Opie and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. There's a party going on outside my RV. Meanwhile, these guys, seriously? So, so what if I have to go pee or something? Did, hello? Hello? Oh. All right, I guess my kitties rule the RV and stuff.